What lies hidden in Geneva? Hello agents, I'm Susanna Moya and this is the Ingress Report. Recently, the anti-Magnus leader Jahan released a message expressing her vision for the future and the path that she believes must be travelled to achieve it. In the video, Jahan accuses the enlightened activist known as the Acolyte of deception and creating false hopes. Jarvis and this Acolyte, whoever she might be, would have you bask in the sun and dream of a better world while your fellow human beings are suffering. It is believed Jahan is attempting to activate Nazir technological artifacts beneath the ancient city of Persepolis. P.A. Chapeau and Hank Johnson have recently commented on Jahan's activities. After breaking her silence, is it possible that her efforts have begun to bear fruit? Over the last few weeks, agents have been gathering in large numbers to take part in mission days. On July 18th in Stuttgart, over 400 agents from France, Switzerland, Italy, Germany, the USA, Norway and the Czech Republic met for a cross-faction breakfast followed by a day of exploration. Using missions created in coordination with the Stuttgart Tourism Authority, agents explored this beautiful and historic city. Just a few days later, over 200 agents met in Oslo for a cross-faction meetup and a mission day there. And this Saturday, on August 1st, a mission day will be taking place in Indianapolis at the site of Gen Con, the gaming convention created by the father of Dungeons & Dragons, Gary Gygax. In March of 2013, at GaryCon in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, which honors Gygax, Misty Hanna took advantage of an anomaly held there to escape from the Niantic Project facility at CERN. Two weeks ago, agents at the Mission Day in San Diego Comic-Con discovered valuable intel through a series of missions connected to P.A. Chapeau and Clue, who were both present. Given the potential importance of Gen Con, I'd advise agents on the ground to be on the lookout for intel emerging in missions there. Please share anything you might discover on Facebook and Google+. As well as the mission day at Gen Con, agents around the world will be gathering in over 100 cities for agent-organized Ingress First Saturdays on August 1st. Find more information about them on Google+. In Munich, enlightened agents from Austria and Germany met in a botanical garden to launch Operation White Unicorn, a field art project creating an emblem from the anime series Mobile Suit Gundam. Over 40 agents were involved, including Fight Girl, Lord Zero Cool, The Pirate, Morph and Backtop. In Japan, resistance agents marked National Marine Day by launching a field art operation to create a parrotfish in an area typically under enlightened control. In addition, the agents created a massive link burst in the form of a sea urchin to distract their opposition and buy time. 24 agents were involved in the creation of the field art, including Bloco, Kosira, Boobidoo, and Manchigo. In Taiwan, enlightened agents launched Operation Jade, creating a level 8 portal atop the main peak of Mount Jade, the highest mountain in Taiwan. A difficult mountain to access and summit, the team had to plan their hike for over three months, and their detailed sit reps is well worth a read. Ten agents completed the hike. Auntie Zhao, Breathe Free Air, Chan Lan Kun, Gorka, Husky Sai, Joseph Lu Seven, Lezaika, Long Vacation, N2O Hack, and Petakoda. And on the 18th of July, resistance agents from Hong Kong, Guangdong, Henan, and Hainan launched Operation Summer Swim, a multi-tiered field operation that started with six fields controlling 440,000 MU. They then added two more layers and 2.5 million mind units, finally ending with two massive fields that controlled 54 million MU. Nearly 70 agents were involved, including Monster KL, Monocolor, Fire Steed, Crow Snow, and Binding Layer. Later today, Agent Portalist will be appearing on Behind the Scanner. She's currently at Gen Con in Indianapolis and claims to have discovered some troubling intel from a portal there. Tune in to Behind the Scanner tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Time to learn more. Thanks for joining me this week. Continue to share your sit reps and the stories from your communities around the world on Facebook and Google Plus using the hashtag Ingress, or leave a comment on the Ingress Facebook page to be featured in next week's Ingress report. I look forward to seeing and sharing your messages. For the Ingress Report, I'm Susanna Moyer.
I can see every possibility. 